So for some reason, while I'm watching it back, I couldn't hear myself at all. I could hear the machines more. So I was just saying that I hit a milestone, which was over six miles, and um, I did 40 minutes. Well, I'm still cleaning up, but I did want to show y'all my new phone case. Oh, my God. Look at it. It's so pretty. Let me see if I can get that. Oh, there she goes. Hey, there she goes again. Okay, look how pretty, y'all. And I didn't even see this. Excuse me. I didn't even see the avatar on her. And y'all know my daughter's name is Paris. So I just thought this was too cute. And it's, of course, my, oh, shit, my favorite color. One of my favorite colors, I should say, which is gold. They didn't have any like purple ones. They only had like clear, which is like essentially like silver because the background was silver. So I was like, I'll go with gold. I love gold. But y'all, how pretty is this case? Oh my goodness. I have to come by super quick and show you guys my hair color to the handy. I dyed it. So the last vlog y'all saw, I went to a new barber in Dublin and I actually love my cut y'all know that i love my hair super short i got it much shorter than i've ever gotten it and i actually am liking the way my curls are doing their own thing um you know what i'm saying i put some products in here just to keep it moisturized you can't have a dry scalp but i do love this cut y'all and i had to come show y'all the color because i did not pit um both of the colors together i put the lightest one um i bleached it black but black back blonde because my roots were coming out again and i had like kind of like a cheetah look to it so um but this camera is showing mad imperfections i'm trying to get my dark spots to go away i have been trying everything and as an esthetician this is very upsetting for me because i feel like i need an esthetician to help clear, clear my skin up i can't talk right now um so i've been drinking a lot of water i always drink a lot of water but i'm drinking even more um as I'm at Starbucks. Yes, I have one cup of coffee a day. And then I drink water for the rest of the day. So, I'm actually about to go get my nails done. So, I'm going to take y'all with me to have a little day out. You know, a little spa day. It's time to get my nails redone. I want to get something really cute on my nails. Like, kind of abstracty. So, I'm going to see what they say if they can do it or not. But, I'll show you. So y'all, I am in the car wash right now. So I have some extra time. The, the air conditioning is blazing hip hop and R&B, okay? I'm trying to show y'all my nails real quick. So I love my nails. I'm gonna put a picture here of the Instagram picture I was inspired by. But y'all, I might keep this one for this one. I can't, might keep these for a while. Um, because I do love the design. I didn't get them too long this time just because I had them long last time and the tip broke like they broke off around here or around the base because they were long. Um, so this is like a perfect length for me. Um, I can do everything that I need to do and, you know, excuse the loud, you know, everything. I just want to come by and update y'all. I ended up going to get a sandwich, but I was on the phone, so I didn't get a chance to record it. So I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm probably gonna go to Sonic. It is currently 84 degrees and it's hot out here. So, so I came to Sonic today. I'm gonna try their, I don't know if you can see it, the mango, which is sugar-free, and the peach mixed, which is sugar-free as well. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all got a twist because I normally would get like the tots and shit like that. But you know, I'm not trying to eat too much because I did have a sandwich earlier. Um, 
so I think this is real cute I don't know if y'all can see let me turn this down um, that it says how your order is going you can't really tell because hold on I'm not Gilbert <laughs> um, it, it tells you almost like the Domino's app like when I used to get Domino's they'd be like oh it's in the oven oh somebody has it in the car um, I think that's real cute that they tell you what's going on or whatever so I'm going to just, um, yeah. So I have to come in and show y'all one of my favorite scents. It is Sexual Femme by Michael Germain. Yeah, this is hard as hell to find. I used to be able to find it at Ross and Marshall's and stuff. I can't find it anywhere. Excuse all the cat here. Um, I can no longer find it there for some reason. It's just really hard to find. Um, so... I had ordered off of my favorite scent place, which is eBay. And let me tell you, honey, I'm so happy I got this back. I love it. I don't wear it every day. So that's how I make it last so long. But I do love it. Uh, I am going to go to the airport right now. But um, I am, uh, what you call it? This used to really be my exit, y'all. I can't believe this used to really be my exit. Like, it won't focus because it's trying to focus on the wheel. And I'm trying to get it to focus on... Yes, there you go. Um, I can't believe that. It's been six years, almost, since we moved from the Bay Area. It'll be... Yes. No. Because we moved 2016. It'll be six years, yeah. Ugh, six years next year. That was a tongue tire. <laughs> But I used to get off of 98th Avenue. And y'all know I used to live in Sabrani Park before we I moved to Stockton. Um, my parents currently still live in San Leandro. I'm trying to get back to the Bay Area. But baby, <laughs> baby, it's real out here, okay? And I miss my hometown. I miss being in Oakland. I miss being in the Bay Area. Um, but it's just so expensive and rent keeps going up and up. I don't know if y'all heard if you're not aren't in California or if you are. I don't know if you heard that rent has went up. Um, I think it was 10% or something. Um, what are you doing, Tesla? Get your life together. Um, and that was basically just trash, y'all. Absolute trash. Frisco. Anybody ain't going to be living in Frisco except for millionaires. But I'm pretty sure that's what they want is people rich people over there and you know it's just sad to know that everywhere we go they're gonna try to push poor people out no matter where we go honey if you below if you're like middle class you're not you're not middle class anymore quote unquote you're like lower class because middle class now is like people who work in silicon valley tech people who work, make a lot of money like making 40 plus dollars an hour you know what i'm saying and who makes that not me I'll tell you that damn much. Because I work for my brother and I only make 12 something an hour. And when I worked for Walmart, I, I made 13 or $12 an hour. Who can live off of minimum wage? My God. Like, it's absolute garbage. But I didn't come here to give y'all that lesson. I know y'all know this stuff. Y'all are grown. Uh -huh. Like, a lot of y'all who watch me are grown up. So, y'all been paying your own bills for a while. So, y'all already know what's up. But y'all child this is ghetto i love coming out here but it's just like this a little bit of sadness that comes over me because i'm like damn i really just i really can't live here right now um granted my mom is trying to help me find somewhere to go but it's everything is so fucking expensive like my god you better get off of me because i'll fall the fuck out okay i will fall out i don't think you know who you're fooling with I'm dramatic as hell. You hit me, I'm falling the fuck out. So, um, yeah. That's another thing I can't stand, though. People ride the fuck out of you out here. And I don't know if it's everywhere, but I can't stand it. I can't fucking stand it. I'm like, why are you so close to me? Are you going somewhere? Please tell me. Please. Carisha. But, yeah, I used to be over here all the time on Empire. Let me see if I can zoom in. Can I zoom in, Jesus? Yeah. On Empire, this is the way to the airport. So, as y'all can tell, it's a bunch of airport parking, rental car places, gas stations, all that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see this sign as my damn thing gets in the way, but it says "Hella happy to see you." I can't get out because um, 
I gotta walk over that direction and this is just like a parking call while I'm waiting but I thought that sign was hella funny but I feel like you know if you talk that area then you immediately got it so if you got it you got it if you know you know 